put out no song, no spell, no madrigal last year around about, uh, I think it was April, it came out. And then in September, uh, we played the album for the first time uh, with the band, you know, bass, drums, there was a horn player, piano player, it was the big band thing. And I wanted to do that because that's the sound on the album and I thought the first time out I'll do it like that and, um, uh, and it just seemed like the thing to do. But I also felt, and I've often felt this when I'm out with the big band, it's kind of like they're almost, the band is almost like a safety net and you can, you can, as a singer or the front person, you know, you could go missing and the band is still there and it's still, there's still something, some big engine there. And that's great, that always feels good, but what I also like is the kind of the tightrope act of taking it down to almost nothing or less, less, and just seeing if the songs will still, if people will still respond to the songs. In 2009 I came here and I just did a little duet thing and there was a kind of intensity to that that I, I really like. You know, the band is intense as well, and but the band is sort of like you're out and it's whereas this is more inward and I kind of like that because the songs in some ways, they start in that way. Some of it is, um, but you know, like there's a couple of tracks that are big guitar tracks, well, you know, um, I might as well do them in, in that way. But then there are others, you know, like Mr. Somewhere, World of Lies, they're just, you know, that they're, they're, they're much more um, uh, down uh, or just quieter sort of things. I was thinking of it as an acoustic tour in the sense that I was playing an acoustic guitar, yeah. but it wasn't like a Mark Kozalek tour where it's, you know, him on a stool and another a Spanish guitarist on a stool. It wasn't that kind of thing, which is a very powerful thing as well. But um, I didn't want to do that either. Uh, Nobody Like You happened because when I was back in Australia, I started doing some solo shows and my first solo show I did in Brisbane, which is the town I grew up in, but I left, you know, it was 2021 20, when I left. And it occurred to me, you know, to play that song, you know, because that was, it was quite a significant song, because it was the first song I'd written for the apartments. I kind of liked doing that when I was in Brisbane, because that whole world of that song is a Brisbane world, and it's all lost. It's gone, um, and it was gone like, it was gone like, you know, not long after I left, because that, the world that I came from just seemed to, it was like, you know, somebody threw gasoline on it and then lit a match, and just seemed to disappear. All the people that I knew just seemed to disappear, and that world disappeared, and I lost touch with a whole lot of people as well, so, um, but, yeah, that's my answer to that question. Because <laughs> we were good friends when we were, what I think of as kids, when we were both starting bands. And he was a very significant character for the start of the apartments. For instance, uh, he worked in this record store and uh, I was starting the band and I went in to see him and said, look, you know, this is what I'm getting, um, I'm naming the band and I'm saying, it's the apartment. That's perfect for you. It's the, it's the cynical, it's the romantic, Billy Wilder, it's just perfect. So I was convinced then that I had the right name for the band. And then later on, for instance, I had another band after that and we had a song called uh, No Resistance and there was one line in it, the evening visits and stays for years and Grant 
you know, when he heard that song, he said, that is just such a great line. And I started thinking, well, actually it's not a bad line for an album title. So, you know, he was quite significant in that way. And he was always a big supporter. That was back in the 90s when I wrote, you know, Not Every Clown, where I thought, like, he had stepped into the world, a world I knew inside out, but it was the first time he'd been into that world. And, and, I, and, he, and he used to get quite distressed that his band wasn't as successful as he felt that they should be. And my feeling about, you know, everything that happens with bands is it's just a roll of the dice. You know, you can do everything right. You can behave yourself and do it all and it can still not work. But it, it's a roll of the dice and you know, like it is true, like there, there are a million great songwriters and great bands that nobody will ever hear of. And it's, you know, not every clown can be in the circus. That's really how it goes, you know, so. I never did the right things in the right way. Um, so I always, like the major engine of my life, I think is probably gratitude, you know. I always feel like it should be a band name because it's a band expression. It's never me. It's not really me solo. I mean, I write the songs and I, you know, arrange them. I'm singing. <laughs> you know, but, 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 you know, there's, there's, there's another thing happening as well. Yeah, yeah. If I were ever to do, when I play solo, I always, I, you know, um, uh, I, I tend to use my own name, you know. So, yeah. but if I'm, if I'm with anyone else, it's always the apartments. The trains are possibly on strike tomorrow and we've got to get a train up to the airport. So, you know, I may not get the goodbye train yeah. out, of, out of the country, you know, so <laughs> we may have to start the tour again. Natasha and Antoine, they are just, you know, lovely people and Robin who's the sound engineer, who's like the fourth, like there's three for the road, but really it's four for the road, because he's the guy that, if it didn't sound any good, we'd be lost. So he's the sort of fourth apartment, I think, you know, in this respect. Um, it's, a good, it's a good little quartet, like the Beatles. <laughs> you know what I mean, it's just, it works. <laughs> Thank you.